love the Blasasana 21 day program after having my third child. It's been really hard to figure out how to incorporate yoga back into my life. The first day was actually 20 minutes or so. So it was something that was really easy to start doing. I liked the fact that there was a lot of different flow. So it is traditional yoga, but there's also dance moves. Most of the videos have some sort of core plank component. Some videos were more restoratively based. I can do it after I do weights or running, or I can just do it as a full exercise for that day. At the end of the videos, you feel very light. The people in the video are having fun. The scenery is beautiful. The shavasanas always kind of bring you back to something that would bring you either peace or joyfulness. It helped me focus. I would say that it's not just a yoga series because there's different parts about journaling, meditation, and it just reminded me to add some bliss to my everyday life. As a therapist, I've recommended Blasasana's 21 day series to several of my clients. The main reason I've really recommended it is that for, for a lot of people, getting themselves to a yoga class can seem somewhat intimidating, not just time-wise, but sometimes insecurity if you've never done yoga. So I love the fact that the series you can do from your house. You can really do it anywhere you, you are. You can do it during your lunch break. The second piece is that it's not just a yoga series, and that's what really drew me to it, was that with the journaling exercises, the meditation, the, um, the videos just about healing your inner child, it really resonated in the work that I do with a lot of my clients. There's a lot of people that just uh, are challenged with loving themselves or finding gratefulness in a practice daily. And so the Blasasana series really pulls that in. It incorporates self-care into the series alongside with yoga, which I think can be really moving for clients to not just have that space of doing exercise and breathing techniques, but also working on mental health benefits. Some of the clients that I've referred the series to are people struggling with anxiety. I think that um, yoga in general as a practice is great for anxiety. I have recommended to people with depression issues, whether that's mild or more moderate, and mainly because of the journaling exercise to go alongside the yoga. I think that they are very self-reflective. It makes someone think about um, aspects that are pieces that we would talk about in a therapy session as well. Just reminded me of what made me feel blissful. I think we all kind of operate on a day-to-day -day of what we need to get done, what's on the agenda for that day, and it just reminded me to add some bliss to my everyday life and that it could be something as simple as a fancy cup of coffee or doing a run or practicing yoga that day. Thank you.